I don't need to put the season indicator elevator in this intro. There's going to be plenty of elevators later, I promise. This is a very interesting season for me, so let's start. Any hashtags at the end of titles won't be said in this video. At number 10, we have Cookie Slap. I came up with this idea when mom and I were baking cookies on a Saturday, so I filmed the slap. This may be one of my weaker shorts, but there's nothing else wrong with it. I don't think any of these videos are bad, they just have competition from stronger videos. At number 9, we have You Laugh, You Lose, Episode 9. My newest You Laugh, You Lose video. I'd say this episode performed similarly to how Episode 8 did, but this was the startup of the series after the pause over the July and August part of the summer. Maybe in a few episodes my You Laugh You Lose will get back up. I also did a new thumbnail style with the gradient colors and stuff. I hope you'll like it. I also did some things with moving my reaction screen in various parts of the video. At number 8, we have How Fast Summer Goes By. At first, it seems like you're gonna have a nice long summer. Then, you're back to school. If my shorts were in categories, I'd put this one in a relatability category. I came up with this idea a day or two before school started. Now that I think about it, another short could go in this category. At number 7, we have... Top 10 Mr. Z Season 6 Videos. Mm. I usually rank the ranking video at around the number 7 spot. I don't know how this video will do, but given the special elements I added, I think this is the right spot for it. At number 6, we have I'm in Spain without the A. You're in Spain? Wait! That was basically how the video went. Well, without the TV static. If you're curious about where I filmed this, it's at Ignite the Senses Children's Gym, making kids happy since 2016. There are swings, a trampoline, a zip line, a jungle gym, and more. There's also pre-K classes, and you can schedule a birthday party for your kid, too. Wait. At number five, we have Mom, go ask your dad. Dad, go ask your mom. My mom said that stuff like this sometimes happened in her childhood. This is like an infinite loop, and the short itself is even a perfect loop. Why can't you just tell your mom that dad told you to ask her? At number four, we have Insane House Tour. The info about that video is in that video. This is the current record holder for the longest video on my channel, running at 53 minutes. With that, I think I may be able to upload a movie-length Halloween video. The subtitles also took a very long time to edit. Anyways, the house was really nice, and it was one of my special occasion videos. If I come across any more insane houses like this one, I may consider doing a sequel. Although for the thing coming up, it's the 8 cool. Podium time! Taking the bronze medal at number three, we have 10 Mr. Z Elevators 2. 
it make more sense to talk about this video with its part one. Taking the silver medal at number two, we have... They always ruin the fun, don't they? I think this short would go in the relatability category if there were one. It was a quick idea I came up with, and it paid off. It surpassed the War of 1812 video, so it's my third most viewed short. Speaking of most viewed shorts, the Bounce Dryer Sheets Bouncing video took its throne back from No Row O. It must be a fan favorite then. Also, who doesn't like mosquitoes? Taking the gold medal at number one, we have... Ted Mr. Z Elevators. My most successful long form video of this season. Elevators are one of my top interests right now, and this video shows it. It's the start of a new era on my channel, and I'll post more elevator videos in the future. This is one of those times where a thousand views short doesn't take the top spot. This Elevator series is very special to me, and I'd like to do a Top 10 Inside Top 10. I'm ranking the elevators themselves from the video. Number 10, a building in Westbury Park. Eh. Number 9, Plantation Park Commons. Similar, but nostalgic. Number 8, First Citizens Bank. Favorite impulse of the video. Number 7, Ward Edwards, nice Aurora. Number six, MUSC Rutledge Tower, decent traction elevators. Number five, Bluffton Village, pretty decent smaller sized elevator. Number four, Surf Watch by Marriott, very nice looking modded hydros. Number three, Publix, favorite store, Otis Series One. Number two, Hospital Center Commons, very nice Otis Series One. Number one, Adventure Pediatric Dentistry. Very nice thing to four. Favorite fixtures. I decided to wait a little bit on talking about Ted Mr. Z Elevators 2, since that was the part two after the first one. Let's rank those elevators too. Number 10, Palmetto Office Suites. Needs some help. Number 9, MUSC Children's Health. My first impulse with the Dover tag. Number 8, Cornwell, Older Otis Series 1. Number 7, McGriff, Pretty Decent Impulse. Number 6, Honda, Decent Aurora. Number 5, Macy's, Modded Monty, Fairly Decent. Number 4, Fairfielded by Marriott, Parking Garage, Code Attraction. Number 3, Extended Stay America, Nice Newer TK. Number 2, Publix at Bay River Crossing, very nice Schindler at a very nice store. Number one, Fairfield Inn by Marriott, very nice traction elevators inside. Wow. For the elevator rankings in the future, I'll do them in their elevator video spot in the season ranking video. That's the list. I really hope you enjoyed that video. I have an exciting video planned for the end of September, so you can stay tuned to that below. What's going on?